Hi there, everyone. It's Ifti from Extreme Returns. If you're one of my regulars, please forward by 30 seconds. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining. Quick background, I'm a chartered management accountant, worked at big companies like Unilever and Mars, had a great time, learned a lot, moved on to recruitment consultancy and headhunting, really enjoyed that. But after many years in the corporate world, decided to set up my own business. Started with estate agency, did really well, love property. I am now doing car rental on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, and my family and I are the largest on the, in the UK on the platforms Toro and Get Around. I've uploaded a, a fun cartoon, have a look at it. It's called Ifti Uddin, my story. It's one and a half minutes long. I've been featured on the BBC, Independent, Motoring News, etc. I also have a channel called Extreme Returns. I've uploaded loads of videos, only 88 subscribers, but I'm sure it'll grow. Um, please do consider copying me. I joined only recently on extre as Extreme Returns. I've only got four months of stats, but I've got a lifetime of experience. Doing relatively well, 13.34 market dipped yesterday, which we'll discuss in the news in a moment, 21%. I've got 35 subscribers according to that, although here on my dashboard, so yeah, it's 35, they've updated it, fantastic. I'm a whisker away from a champion level. I need another $4,200 to get promoted. So please help me. Okay, good. Now let's start the five minute review. Very quickly, um, yesterday was, wasn't so good. This is Wall Street Journal. NASDAQ slumps as tech shares fall. Investors retreated from shares of many of the tech companies that have powered markets higher. Uh, and it talks about the NASDAQ falling 0.6%, which doesn't sound a lot. The S&P also slid, losing 0.1%, um, well, but the Dow 30 actually increased by 0.3%. Some of the fallers were quite big. And we'll come on to that in a little while. Um, there is a, an almighty storm in Texas and that's really affecting lots of industries. Obviously, it's going to uh, uh, affect an awful lot of people. We wish they all stay safe. There's stories of people sleeping in their cars and really suffering because electricity is down as well. Uh, but this story is about severe weather conditions hitting much of the US that has made car makers um, a bit worried because of chips. Um, the chip makers have been asked to slow down their production because of um, uh, electricity issues. Um, the next story, very quickly, is uh, quite interesting. North Korea, we've heard of cyber attacks from China and Russia, but here we've got North Korea turning to cryptocurrency schemes in global heists. And the Justice Department in America is charging North Korean hackers in schemes that include attempts to steal $1.3 billion in cryptocurrency. Um, and there is another story which highlight was in the Wall Street Journal, Google to pay News Corp for access to its publication contents. Now, they've made a deal uh, worth tens of millions of dollars um, as a three-part, three-year licensing deal. Um, in Australia, there's a big issue about content payments. So Facebook is shutting off its news feed in Australia, and people are going nuts about it. As far as the British press, Rishi Sunak's 400 billion balancing act. As you know, the budget is fast approaching. And here's some ideas, according to the mail, as to how uh, he can recover it. I'm not going to go into much detail, but I just wanted to show you this graph. 271 billion public sector borrowing. Look at that. It's crazy, isn't it? COVID lockdown has left 2 million people without work through furlough or job cuts amid fears we are sitting on an employment time bomb. Resolution Foundation says 1.9 million are unable to work after losing their jobs. 20% of these fear they will remain jobless when the furlough scheme ends. Um, so uh, that will almost certainly affect the economy. And to make things even more <laughs> confusing, Rio Tinto, so you see lots of bad news, now we see some good news. Uh, Rio Tinto is to pay the largest dividend in its history for a 6.5 billion windfall amid global mining boom. So I'm thinking, should I start looking at uh, mining companies? And 
Also, we have revealed, finally, the price of lockdown that we can never repay from damage to our children's education to a surge in mental health issues and industries on their knees. It's quite interesting because it talks about all sorts of um, effects of what's going, what's been going on. Um, and I don't think these, some of these industries will ever recover. Okay, that's my five minutes up. Do consider copying, subscribing, sharing. Um, my wife is also on eToro. She's got the only um, Far East focus fund that I know of on, e on eToro. She's uh, dealing with Japan, China, Taiwan, and uh, countries in the Far East. Her stats are even better than mine. She's been on for a short period as well, but she's got a reasonable number of copiers, very low drawdowns drawdowns, some excellent companies that have done really well. C, Meitun, JD, Pinduoduo, New Technologies. She's got an Indian fund, Tiny Wiz, Tiny Wiz fund, and some really big, excellent companies. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for everyone. Uh, see you guys very soon.